Okay, uh, joining me from the scene is Matt Fisher. Matt. Brian, police are reporting that just moments ago, a gunman who was still at large and believed to be in the building entered the Occidental Bank building and opened fire. Shooting in a bank? I've never heard of that. Are, are you sure it's just one gunman? Maybe there are two or three. The police are saying one gunman. I imagine that will change. Do we, do we know who this shooter voted for in 2012? I'm sorry? Is there any chance he was a Romney supporter? Do we know his party affiliation? Uh, Brian, this is all very fluid. Details of the moment are very, very sketchy. What we do know is... Black? Huh? Is he black, Hispanic, white, white Hispanic? Brian, this just happened. You think he got his gun legally? Uh, at this point, it's too early to... to, to Matt, I've got some graphics here. Which one of these AR-15 assault rifles was it? Oh, I don't have any details on the gun. Because it just seems like automatic weapons are really easy to obtain. Yeah, no idea, Brian. Uh, all we know is that a gunman entered the Occidental Bank and seemingly without provocation started firing. At black people? What? You think this was a hate crime of some sort? The Koch brothers? I don't. You think he had an agenda, maybe a political grievance, Tea Party? Dude, what the hell are you doing? Matt, uh, people watch the news to get the news, and this is how you cover the news. Is, is the shooter's name Kurt Michaels? I, do, I, where did you even get that from? He's a weird Jehovah's Witness kid who punched me in the face when I was 11. Okay, Brian. Uh, well, he certainly still wouldn't be 12. You're right. Okay, here he is as he looks today, if that's the right Kurt Michaels from Facebook. Are there any witnesses who could verify that the shooter is or isn't Kurt Michaels of 127 Angel Hill Road in Weehawken? Brian, this is an active crime scene. Police have issued no other details because they don't have them. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should take a moment and then check back with me later. You know what? Good point. Buck, you're looking good. What does that have to do with anything? All right, now back to the shooter. Matt, what do we know now? Are you serious? You said Occidental Bank, right? That is correct. And Occidental is kind of the same as Oriental, right? So are we looking at a man who was spurned by an Asian lover, a Madam Butterfly thing, Vietnam veteran? Maybe his dry cleaner upset him. Can I get out of here? Does he have a Muslimy name? That would be huge. Brian. Yeah. The police have very little information to dispense, okay? So they say. So you think this may be a false flag operation designed to distract us from government scandals? I'll check back, Brian, when I have more information. With all due respect, Matt, that takes way too long. And Greg Semper Fi says it was Putin's KGB. What do you think about that? Uh, who's Greg Semper Fi? It's a guy on Twitter, a knowledgeable source, I'd assume. Hold on. Okay, he just tweeted that he can't stand the Broncos and Gayton Manning. Okay, fascinating. Is, is Peyton Manning a gay? Okay, I'm out of here. Okay, we'll be right back with you, Matt. Buck, I'm sorry we're out of time. You gotta be kidding me. We'll be right back. I miss my mom's birthday dinner for this. Oh, happy birthday, Mommy.